as I come out here, you're pushing back, right? Okay, well, that's all you're doing with the golf swing. So really, that's all right. We'll have to start over because I lost battery power because these weren't charged. At because all. you weren't ready, because you have been practicing instead of working. You know, there is, there is something to that. <laughs> More speed is not going to make the ball go further. In fact, what it does is it makes it go more crooked. You give them more speed with an offline face, what happens? It curves more. Now, tour players, a little different thing. You can control the face. You've learned to control the face over your career by doing some things that were really not instinctive to you as an athlete, but you got good hand eye coordination. The first one was take hold of the club. The first one. When we finally got you to understand that the way this moved, yeah. that you didn't want to slide back here, that your right hip was actually like yeah. hitting a tennis ball. Yeah. As your arms were going back, your hips were going yeah. forward. Yeah. That move for you turns you back into an athlete. This. That. Where for when I first saw you, you were here and then here. Yeah. And then you from there, you were trying to figure out how the hell to get the club on the ball, which you were steep and across it, and then you were holding the face off, okay? So your biggest thing was to get you to work as an athlete relative to hitting a tennis ball or throwing a ball, it was that, okay? Mm -hmm. The next thing is we get this club, and this club at the top of your swing, it, it doesn't wanna go this way. It wants to go this way. Mm -hmm. So if you did what you were used to do, which is twist, which makes the club fall even further, now, to catch the club up, you had to have a lot of forearm rotation to try to catch the face up. All right. So now you athletically moved and the handle came down and the club went out here. Now all you had to do from here was just turn through the ball. You don't need any face rotation. You don't need a forearm rotation because you don't have to catch the face up now. Now all you have to do is direct the momentum of the club head at the ball and continually be pushing away from this club as it goes around you. Okay. And that's so, what stabilizes so, your circle. Yeah, so if, uh, if I really feel my hips moving the right way and creating the space um, at the top of my backswing, the club just automatically is able to drop down easier. That's what makes it drop. Yeah. That's what makes so, it drop. Because also because it's going around me and because it has a weight and gravity will take it. Very good. Okay. So again, we're back into riding a bike or skiing or anything. Once you get the feel for how these forces match out. Okay. Once you feel them, they're not gonna, you're not gonna get up tomorrow and they're not gonna change. So you, you will never be scared about the golf swing because no. if, if you, yeah, because if you understand how it's like go skating. If you, you know, at the beginning you're scared to fall and hurt your back, but yeah. once you understand, I mean, you will never have to go back and be worried about falling. You right. just, now you can focus on, you know, making a goal or passing it right or understanding the game or what's going on. You don't have to learn to skate again. No. And more you feel that um, you can let all these forces work for you, more you can enjoy the golf swing. And the more you understand and feel those forces, they're constant. And once you feel them, they're not gonna, you're not gonna wake up tomorrow and all of a sudden, instead of the club falling to the ground, it floats into the sky. So gravity, what gravity is doing with your hands and wrists and the club is gonna do the same every single day. Sure. Now the only way you can screw that up is if somehow you get out of sync with it so you get in its way. Sure.